Hello, welcome to a video party people. I have been meaning to record this for a while now, this voiceover, and here I am. It's actually me and my partner's anniversary today, but the grind never stops and he had to do a gig. So here I am recording a little voiceover. There's Tiggy, look how cute. So I'm dyeing some paper with coffee, one of my all-time favorite things to do. Um, it's just such a fun activity to get down and dirty in that gross water. And putting paper in the oven feels like a crime. So I kind of feel a little, little evil. Um, but it's safe, I promise. I didn't burn down my house. Now I'm painting a little stand for a figurine. If you didn't read the title, I'm doing a little D&D &D setup. I did this several weeks ago, and, um, I still haven't played D&D &D ever, so <laughs> that's fun. I, me and my friends were going to, but some unseen for events happened. Perhaps we still will, but I still wanted to make this video and show off the the stuff that I did. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about making figurines and miniatures. Uh, first thing I learned is it takes a lot of time and patience, and uh, I rush things a lot. Uh, I think I could have learned to slow down a little bit and take my time. This is the third thing I've ever sculpted with Sculpey. Fun little fact. Fact, I haven't done it for literal years. Um, I've made... It was supposed to be Elijah Wood. It doesn't really look like Elijah Wood. A little face. I named him Lecter, though. He's my best friend in the world. Even if everyone thinks he's horrifying. I'll put a little picture up for you to see. Oh, a car is going by. Hello, car. <laughs> okay. The, then the third thing I sculpted with Sculpey was we had this assignment for art class in high school. I, I sculpted Lecter in high school as well. I'm 21 now, so, um, you know, I graduated. Actually, I didn't. That's a whole other story. But I sculpted a little heart with an eye in it, and it was supposed to be about, like, envy because of a symbolism. You know, heart, eye. Hearts are the window to the soul. I'm very clever. Oh, he's twerking it. So, yeah, I, I, I really love using Sculpey, it, and I really love the way it dries, because it dries almost slightly, I don't know, it's not like translucent, but it's, it's weird. I don't know how to describe it, but I really like it. I'd like to get, I'd like to do more clay work. It's something I've always wanted to do more of, but I never have. Um, it, it seems daunting for some reason. 3D work is very difficult, like so difficult, especially when you are a 2D artist. But yeah, while I was doing this, I watched a whole a lot of Fantasy High. I still haven't finished the second season and I started watching Fantasy High several years ago, but you know how it be when um, you're autistic and your brain will only let you watch things sometimes. Like it, it has to be like accepted. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain that. Like my brain has to like say, yeah, okay, you can watch that. Otherwise I can't. Um, I was really obsessed with Fantasy High for like a few weeks, maybe a week, and then um, my brain decided, no, actually, this is bad. Not bad, but like, it felt like a chore to watch it. Not because Fantasy High was bad, but because my brain is weird. This is all beside the point. I watched a bunch of Fantasy High. I'm trying to finish it. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, obviously, um, Brennan's just an amazing DM, and I wanted to learn. Oh look, all, all sculpted, all cooked up, and now I'm sewing some clothes, which I've never sewed. I had a sewing machine when I was 12, and actually I used to film my Barbies, and I, I made this reality TV show, and it was called So You Think You Can Sew, and they would compete, and I would sew them clothes, poorly, obviously. And I sewed a pillow, and that's what I remember sewing at, at that age. But since then, I have sewed nothing, but I still have sewing supplies because I always think to myself, maybe I will. And I tried and uh, I'm not very good at it. I don't really know how to do it. Actually, one time I did sew a shirt into a crop top. I did a, like an invisible stitch. Um, I've had that shirt since I was like 15 and the stitching has undone, but it lasted a while. So good, good for me. So I'm sewing, I think these are the little pants. Very luckily, this was my little brother's character and uh, the, the theme 
of this D&D campaign was zombies, the Walking Dead kind of universe, um, homebrew. I, I did a lot of my own rules and planning and stuff like that. And uh, my brother wanted his character to kind of be in his pajamas. And like he was going to the store in his pajamas. So I was like, this is great because now I don't have to sew like super fashionable clothing. I think I show the character at, at one point. Um, so he's just wearing gray sweats and a black t-shirt, black tank top. So a wife pleaser, as I hear they're calling them nowadays, instead of the opposite. This is me trying to draw on the shoes because once I put the pants on, I realized, oh crap, he has to have white shoes. This is a Crayola water-based marker. It did not work, obviously. <laughs> I should say the Crayola water-based marker, it's like, I have it right here. It's supposed to be able to bold and bright is what it's called. And you should be able to use it on black paper. Nick, actually my younger brother, bought me these markers. Um, yeah. Oh, there he is. Look at that, the little ginger uh, character. So, and this is me cutting socks that I don't like. I don't like these socks because they have beautiful embroidery on them, like designs you see, Starry Night. But they unfortunately have little string in them. You know when like socks have a design and they have a bunch of string? What's with that? I don't like it. Uh, my feet don't like it more specifically. So I, I never wore them, so I thought, this is perfect. I have scrap fabric. Um, and these paintbrushes, oh, what a dream. They're so thin and tiny. And, and this is me trying to figure out how to paint ginger hair. I'm clearly not very good at it. This is a cake that I made. Ooh, ooh. I don't need eggs. So we tried to make a cake without eggs. We replaced it with vinegar and baking soda. Because apparently that can make an egg replacer. Uh, the cake tasted just so strongly of vinegar and baking soda. It was unedible. Some, it would trick you. Some parts of the cake tasted phenomenal, but other parts outlandishly bad. This is me putting magnets on so the little shelves of the store will not fall. This is a store, by the way. Don't think I said that. And yeah, look at that. I used some calico critter stuff that I have because I thought, look how perfect it is. I also made this little paper bag and I used a little calico critter as a little guy. And yeah, that's the whole shop. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. You're very cool. Bye.